at the airport. Now we are walking to a smaller plane to head to Bora Bora. Since we came here last time, we know that the trick is to always sit on the left side of the plane to get the best view. hotel of the trip. We're staying at the Intercontinental Moana. Never stayed here before. This trip is going to be a trek. We're going to like six, seven different resorts and we're staying here for 23 days. So it's going to be a long one. Ending the day perfectly. Looks like I'm naked. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not naked. We are at a beautiful beach on the main island of Bora Bora. We just arrived today, so we're taking it easy, just taking it all in, and it couldn't have been a more perfect day. The water's beautiful, the weather's beautiful. Feeling so blessed to have gotten out of LA during woo, the heart of COVID and to be able to come here, it's a blessing. So we feel very, very fortunate. We're very happy and we can't wait to be here for the next few weeks to create the most epic content. We're inspired, right? Good morning. It is our first official full day in Bora Bora. We woke up, it was cloudy, very windy, but still beautiful. So I will show you our beautiful balcony at the Intercontinental Moana. You can see the water moving pretty quickly. It's not glass like it usually is, but it's still breathtaking. We have a overwater bungalow villa at the end of the strip here. Wow, it's so windy. But we probably will just jump in the water and swim around and um, just get wet. So pretty. Wow, look at the line. Wow, that's so we are about to get on a kayak, although it's very windy, and we are going to go right over there. Supposedly there's really good snorkeling, so we'll see. Off on a little adventure. So one of the things that Nicole loves about this particular place is this blue line. Oh yeah. It is insane. Well, I haven't seen villas that are on the blue line. Usually you have to get on a boat to see it, right? Or yeah. fly the drone to see it, but these yeah. villas are on the line. Yeah, amazing. Yeah, super cool. All right, see you. Uh, Underwater. Let's go. This is gonna be a complete disaster. Are you serious right now? I hate you. What do you mean? I mean, I'm doing a good job. 20 minutes later, we made it to shore. Woo. Wow, that was crazy. It was almost like, it was like rough seas, I feel like. I couldn't even like see because there was so much water hitting my face the whole time. It was like bump after bump after bump. But we made it 20 minutes it took us to get to this beautiful island. We're about to park here and go snorkeling. We got How our workout in work for the out? day. Huh. We, yeah, right, relax. Look at these muscles I have. <laughs> wow, I, that's pretty good. I know, oh. pretty toned. Anyways. <laughs> All right, we're about to find some fishies. Let's go. Scuba Steve. Here we go. So far away. <laughs> I'm yes. hungry. Are you hungry? I'm hungry too. Right. So you got to paddle faster. I'm dead. <laughs> Let's just let the wind take us. Let's just stay away. <laughs> See where it takes us. Moraya. Good morning, it is day two in Bora Bora. We woke up again at 5.30 to watch the sunrise and it is now 8 a.m. and we are waiting for our breakfast to arrive by canoe to our bungalow. Are you ready for this? Because it's so cool. This is a huge spacious bedroom and they decorated the bed with flowers. They gave me a flower crown. 
We have a huge living area right here with the couch, and this just extends, it just feels so big and so spacious and amazing. And the best part, we have our own private plunge pool. We have a hammock. We have our own deck, some lounge chairs. And what's cool is that right behind us is the signature Bore Bore Mountains. Big, big closet. There's like a vanity place for me to do my makeup there, which is nice, but I don't really need to do my makeup in the closet because this bathroom can fit 50 people. It's like the size of people's bedrooms. I love the double thing. It's a huge bathtub. The toilet's over there, the shower is over there. Amazing. I love how spacious this place is. So pretty. I got changed real quick because I'm so excited just to start shooting and creating content. We have only one night here, so we're kind of like in a rush to make sure we get everything in. But food is always the number one most important thing, so we are on our way to lunch, and then we are gonna come back and start shooting. I finally feel like I'm in French Polynesia. So nice that they got me a flower crown. right over there but we didn't realize how expensive the transfers were gonna be so it's 150 one way regular price just to go from the airport to the resort that you're staying at or from resort to resort so it's crazy crazy expensive but anyways how beautiful is this airport it's my favorite airport in the world so pretty all right we just got off that boat we are heading to the four seasons boat we're just hotel hopping over here Just checked into the Four Seasons and I wanted to give you a quick room tour before we start our day. This is the entrance, it's an overwater bungalow. All right, so it's pretty much the same as the bungalow we stayed at last time, last year. We have a beautiful living area with a couch. You can see the deck outside and you walk in and this whole area is a bathroom. And it's a beautiful bathtub with this view. Can't get better than that. So nice that they decorated it with beautiful flowers. There's me. <laughs> Double sinks, you got a shower, the toilet, and then you walk into the bedroom. Again, they put the flowers up there for us, so pretty. And then, of course, you have the view. You have that mountain view, and the deck extends across the villa, and then you just jump in the water. So pretty. So last time we stayed here, we had a private plunge pool. So these villas over here, they don't have the private plunge pool. The, the ones that have the pools are on the other side. So beautiful. Definitely not going to be complaining there. We have our own pri private plunge pool. The water. Definitely feels a lot quieter than last time we were here, but it's just a different travel experience. There's a lot less people. It feels like you have places all to yourself. It feels very empty, which is nice because you feel like you have your privacy. It's quiet. It's relaxing, but it's definitely a little sad to not to see people not traveling as much, but um, hopefully by next year this place will be busy because one of the most beautiful places in the world. Beautiful first morning at the Four Seasons. We just had breakfast. The sun is out, the water looks amazing, and we are about to take a little walk to this island right there. But yeah, you can see how beautiful the water is. So pretty. We're going to the lagoons. Just hang out around the lagoons, but this water is insane. There's too many pretty places here. I don't know what to do. I feel like such a spaz. So much to do. So little time. It's an exciting morning because my sister is arriving. So we are going to the lobby to give her a greeting and a big warm welcome to Bora Bora. It's her first time here. So the ship is about to get that much better. My sister's here. Yippee. Her first time in Bora Bora, she made it. It's about to be a beautiful, fun next few weeks. So excited. And we're putting her to work. She's our little production assistant over here. <laughs> okay, we got our COVID test kit. 
for preparing because day five in French Polynesia, you have to take your own COVID test. So we're about to do this and we give it to our um, concierge receptionist in the lobby and they send it to the main island of Tahiti for them to test it out. And then we get results within, I think, 48 hours. So here we go. Ugh, so uncomfortable. Was that four times? I think that's good. Okay, time for the mouth swab. It's like I'm brushing my teeth. Brush my tongue, my gums, under my tongue, roof of my mouth. There you go. All done. Super easy. Easy peasy. All right, we are going to swim in the lagoon. Michelle is putting on a bathing suit and time for swimsies. Our room's a mess. Look at this. Spa session at 1.45 and what are we doing the rest of the day? Shooting, 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 <laughs> shooting. You sound so miserable. Shooting, shooting, shooting. got the best massage and what I love about the massage room it's pretty cool you can look down at the fishies while you're getting a massage it's right where you put your head you have the best view ever I set up a beautiful well, it's not as beautiful anymore because I ate all the fruit and the flowers are all messed up but they set up a beautiful milk bath with this view of the lagoon we're a solid crew right here. We are heading to the most iconic part of the Bora Bora property, shoot some pics for sunset, and then have dinner. That's pretty. Yeah, this is pretty. I see that light. Oh. I just sat a little bit out there in the canoe. It was a struggle because the wind was ooh, not easy. And now we are, uh, Michael's coming in the canoe with me and we're taking it out. Do you need help? No. And we're gonna go under this little bridge around to another beach. Now I don't have to do any of the work. I can relax. Hi, Michelle. <laughs> Michael's doing all the work. By the way, this is not hard at all. Yeah, right. It is not hard at all. Oh my God. Don't make me look bad. Bye bye. That was literally one of the easiest paddles I've ever had in my entire life. I don't know why it was so difficult. What did you say? Nothing. You said something, you were talking shit. I know, because you're a little stupid smirk. <laughs> a stupid smirk? What did you say? You were looking at me like this evil little twerpy smirk. I was talking about how easy it was to actually oh roll. Oh my god. No, it wasn't easy. There was so much wind and it was literally pulling me and pushing me into the bungalows. Like I would have crashed and died. You're really worried about the boat. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Island is last year to have some lunch. Mama Bay is making a beautiful, beautiful spread. I remember <laughs> falling in the potholes. I remember the food being really good last year, so it's time to eat. I'm hungry. Mama Bay. Mama, Mama it, Bay did it again. Yes. <laughs> With pleasure. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> she made traditional poison crew. Yeah. You can see it's so fresh. She got the fish right out the water right there. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Yes. <laughs> Time to eat. We are leaving the Four Seasons, sadly, but our trip is not over yet because we are heading to another hotel. So stay tuned to see where we are heading next. Four Seasons has by far my favorite boat, transfer boat. So cute. All right, we're pulling up to the Intercontinental Falasso. There's this one bungalow at the way end that's twice the size of all the other bungalows. So we're gonna see if they'll give that one. I 
wanted to show you guys each place we're staying because a lot of people have been messaging me asking where they should stay when they come on their honeymoon or if they're booking a trip here. So I wanted to show you each room that we're staying at to kind of give you an idea so you can make the decision for yourself. This is the Intercontinental Thalasso and we have an overwater bungalow. Obviously there's different room types, but it's beautiful. We have a beautiful living area, balcony. My sister's already on it looking at the view with a private plunge deck into the water, which is beautiful. The water here is really clear. And then walk into the bedroom. Oh, what a view. This is so pretty. Wow, epic view from the bed. And then you got a bathtub with also an epic view and it's very spacious. I love how the bathrooms here are pretty big and they all have double sinks, most of them. And there you go. There's the room tour. Hello. <laughs> We're gonna celebrate a little bit. Woo! Cheers. 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 Uh, for camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have some. So I wanted to show you this epic, epic overwater bungalow situation we have here. This amazing pool with a direct shot of the mountain, which is so cool. But yeah, this is like a two-story overwater bungalow villa at the Intercontinental Thalasso, and it's incredible. Ooh, there goes the sun. And uh, we're getting a few shots going this way. So my sister's gonna be in the chair. I'm gonna be like somewhere in the pool. It's drinking time. I don't really like champagne, but I might just have a drink because the vibe is amazing. All right. Should we try again? Yeah, we're Here we go. ready to shoot. This is a really cool shot. So apparently there was a setting in the GoPro that was off. It made it look like you were in a uh, a bowl of soup. No. A fucking fish bowl. <laughs> Michael, the photographer here, set the settings on my GoPro for my vlog on the wrong setting. So for the past three days being in Bora Bora, I've been vlogging in a fish bowl. Thanks, Michael. But now we fix the setting, so hopefully it'll be better. It's not quite as fishy. Ugh. I literally look like I have a bubble head. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like you. Bye-bye. We're leaving Bora Bora today, but we are heading to another island, so our trip is not over yet, and I'm super excited because we've never been to this island. It's called Rayatea, and we're staying at a resort called La Taha. So we're getting on a boat to go to the airport and fly there, and I can't wait to see what it looks like. Welcome to my villa. I wanted to give you a quick room tour at Le Taha Resort. I love the vibe here. It has a very traditional Polynesian style and design, which I really love. I love how everything is wood, bamboo. This is the bedroom and it has an epic view. If you look behind me, you can actually see the signature mountain of Bora Bora in the background, which is pretty cool. You can see it all the way out there. But the view is pretty epic with that little island and the mountain. And I love how you have a little tiny opening here at the foot of the bed where you can see the fish. It's always fun. The design here, the details, very Polynesian. And the bathroom is beautiful. I love the natural light, the bathtub. You can also see down into the water. It has two beautiful windows. And the best part, our very spacious deck. Beautiful big deck. Oh. You have like bad girl etiquette, by the way. Like right. when it comes to just like letting me know when the camera's gonna be on me, like get out. All right. So, anyways, we're about to go out and uh, do some fun underwater photography. We're gonna see what we can do. It's gonna be fun, right? Gary, and Nicole, I'm about to pan on you, so look Leave cute. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hey, flipper. Bye bye. <laughs> Switch. Oh, I have sunscreen in my eye. Struggle. Oh my god, the struggle is real. 
literally seeing like spots. Now it's all happening on this eye. Oh my God. Morning, it is our second or third, second morning at La Taha. And we actually switched rooms to a beautiful two bedroom villa. So I wanted to give you a really quick tour. If you're looking to stay here and you wanna see what this looks like. It's a mess, we've already been living here for a night. So all of our stuff is everywhere. But this is um, one bedroom and it has a beautiful, beautiful bathroom. The best part is the outside because it has a out uh, outside tub and shower. Looks like you're in the jungle. Love the double sinks, just huge especially for one person, it's amazing. This is like where you enter the villa. There's our little entrance. You walk in, there's like a little uh, entry area. You walk outside and then we have a beautiful deck right on the beach with some lounge chairs and you have direct access all the way to the rest of the resort. So you can just walk outside the back. We have a living area here where basically our office, we uh, do all of our work here in the mornings and at night. A little desk right there, leads out to the the beach and then this is awesome we have our own pool and then this is the second bedroom so basically the middle is kind of like the office entry area then you walk and there's the pool and then the two rooms are on either side really beautiful you could see the water nice little sitting dining area over there so pretty and then this is michelle and i's bedroom it's early morning so it's usually much brighter but we have the same exact bathroom that michael has as well <laughs> girls all of our stuff out but really really pretty and big and we also have an outdoor tub and shower so this is really great because we're three people lots of space uh we have our own pool it feels very private and it's just great a little a great little home base for, for our trip here so we got to spend one night at the overwater bungalow villa which was beautiful and i showed you guys that and now we are here for the next uh three nights for about 30 minutes of this beautiful place where we're about to jump in the water and swim with the sharks. Hopefully there's some sharks around now. So fun and so beautiful. Yeah, you have a few sharks around. Yeah. Wait, there's so many sharks. Sharks? We saw them. They're very cute. We can't get enough. We're going snorkeling and uh, we'll see what we see. We'll be in here for about an hour, see what we see. Hopefully, we'll see some fishies. The other places we've been to. Look how beautiful this coral is all around, but it's basically a big atoll. So there's no mountains, lots of water, and yeah, this is a place where you go diving. So we're gonna try to make that happen.
here, and what's unique about it is that the sand is pink. So all around the lagoon is pink sand. And we have it all to ourselves. Just arrived at Bird Island and there's thousands of birds. We got a little bird guide and we're about to walk around the island. Woo! Thousands of them everywhere. Hello little guy. Furry one over here. Nesting. It's actually a baby. Working off all the poison crew and the lunch. <laughs> Almost there. Hi, Gabby. This is so cool. This is literally so cool. today and we're gonna go to some local markets we're hungry we're about to find something to eat and Tahiti is very unique compared to the other islands there's like black sand beaches here it's really really beautiful it's more city vibe so let's walk around and see what we find a year later and I'm back at the Tahiti market beautiful fresh flowers of food it's a Saturday so it's pretty busy but I'm starving, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I need food now. Last time I had this french fry sandwich that was here. All right, so I'm about to try this french fry sandwich. All right, let's give it a try. First of all, the fries are cold, which is kind of like, I'm a little disappointed about that. The chicken has good flavor. The sauce is like almost like a barbecue sweet teriyaki sauce. And then there's mayo. So it's basically just chicken, mayo, french fries, and like a barbecue sauce. So it's good. But I wish the fries were warm, but I'm still gonna eat it. I'm hungry. <laughs> I could do that right now. So hungry. And we're stranded. Our car died, and we're in the middle of nowhere on a mountain top that took an hour to get here. Glamorous life. And um, yeah, we just called the car company to have us. Uh, to have them send somebody to come pick us up but they don't know where we are and they can't call us because we don't have a local phone so we don't have really a service up here so we're just gonna see if someone arrives we don't know but luckily we stopped at the most epic view spot so we got a beautiful view at least but we've been stranded for about an hour <laughs> hear that noise the doors the windows never a good sound michelle hasn't had anything to eat or drink all day long it's 2 30. she's gonna pass out of dehydration we're all really thirsty really hot and there's bugs supposedly <laughs> there's something up this road i don't know how long the walk is but we're gonna go see if we can find like it might be a restaurant we don't know that's why michael wanted to come up here we'll see. help us help us we all have no energy right now we're all like so just Hungry. Hungry, tired, thirsty. Hot. Hot. Well, this took a few hours out of our day, but it's okay. That's what happens. Mood. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder if we really didn't have water or food and service to contact somebody and there was no restaurant, no people, nothing. Like, you would die. what would you do? You would die. It would take us a full day to walk down. Actually, I'm a health. survivor. Yeah, we don't just die. Survive. Okay, let's just look. Oh, I'm out of breath. Oh my gosh, look at this tree. It's like those African trees in the savannas with like the flat tops, so pretty. Oh, oh, it's a rooster. We're really out here, y'all. In the cut, 
of Tahiti in survival mode. You never know what you're gonna see. I think I see at the restaurant. I feel like I haven't vlogged at all since I've been in Morea. This is our last day. I've been pretty much too busy looking for whales the whole time. But we are on a tour with Morea Moana Tours today. And it is our last day. We're actually heading to the airport tonight. But we are one more chance to look for whales. Wish us luck. Crossing our fingers. Yay! Head underwater Falling back into you I thought we'd be smarter back from the most amazing day in the water and one of the main reasons I wanted to come to Morea was to swim with whales it is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen it was so amazing 